so far. Yeah, I'll just go, I'm going to sit here and listen and write. All right, good evening and welcome uh, to the planning and zoning meeting for the city of Smyrna 2018. Give me a second, please. I'm not prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. The uh, forgot to put my glasses on. It's, uh, and I continue to use like font eight. It's uh, July 9, 2018 at 6 p.m. This meeting's called to order. Um, at this time, I'd like to ask you to turn off your electronic devices uh, as it tends to interfere with our recording equipment. For those of you joining us for the first time, this meeting's conducted much like a council meeting. As such, each application will include a presentation from city staff, followed by a question and answer session between staff and the board. Following staff's presentation, we'll have the applicant present their case and answer any questions from the board. Once all the questions have been satisfied, we'll have an opportunity for anyone in attendance that would like to come forward and speak in favor of or opposition to the application. We ask that you come forward one at a time, state your name and address for the record, and please direct all your comments to the board. Um, we have three items on our agenda tonight. Uh, if you have the... Uh, the agenda, we're going to jump around and we're going to go ahead and table the two items, um, items B and C, and then we'll come back to item C as possible. Um, so with that, item B, it's 2018-300. It's public, public hearing for zoning request Z18-013. This item will be tabled to the August 13th. 2018 planning and zoning board meeting at the request of the applicant. I need a motion to table, please. We have a motion, Mr. Monroe. We have a second, Ms. Lightfoot. Please vote. Is everybody signed in? All right, it is tabled 7-0. All right, the next item on the agenda is 2018-298. This is uh, zoning request Z18-014. This item should be tabled to the August 2013, uh, August 13, 2018 Planning and Zoning Board meeting at the request of the applicant. Can I get a motion to table, please? Motion, Ms. Harrington. Second, Mr. By. Please vote. Mr. Campo. There you go. Thank you, sir. Uh, that motion is tabled seven zero. All right. The Item A on our agenda is 2018-299. This is zoning request Z18-012 for the approval of a special land use permit for a modular classroom building, 8.83 uh, acres in land, lot five nine, land lots 595, 96, and 97. This is 3130 Atlanta Road. It's Covenant Christian Schools, the applicant. Mr. Martin, the back room, please. Good evening. Uh, this is a special land use permit request Z18012. Uh, uh, you guys will hear the request tonight. Uh, you'll make a recommendation to mayor and council, and mayor and council will have a final hearing and decision on uh, the August 20th meeting. This request is for is basically a renewal of the special land use permit that was originally approved back in um, March 3rd, 2008 for a modular classroom building um, located at uh, Covenant Christian School at 31 
30 Atlanta Road. Um, the subject property is zoned R20, has a public institutional uh, future land use uh, designation. Um, the, the approval, the, let me go back. The zoning of the property is reflected on this map and so is the, the land use, the future land use for the property. As I stated, the, the modular classroom was approved back in 2008. With, with that approval, they placed stipulation on the, the zoning case for uh, a 24 month period. At the end of that period, the, the applicant would have to come back and get reapproval of that special land use permit application. And as you can see, in 2010, 2012, 2014, and 2016, um, the applicant came back and, and resubmitted for uh, renewal of that special land use permit, and the mayor and council approved those, each of those requests. Just to refresh your memory, the modular building is located at the, at the rear of the church and the school building. And it's highlighted in red here on the map. Uh, this building is out there and is existing today. And this is the picture of the building and what it looks like. Community development has, re has reviewed the, the request for the special land use permit. Uh, we recommend approval with the same stipulation that we've had for the four previous requests, and that is to um, is for the applicant to come back for after a 24 month period and submit for reapproval for the modular building. With that I'll be happy to answer any questions. Do you have any questions for Mr. Martin? Okay, thank you, sir. All right, this time we'd like to have the applicant come forward and tell us a little bit about the plan. Absolutely. Good thank evening you. and welcome. Good evening, welcome. Thank you. My name is Max Thielen. I'm the president of the Board of Trustees for Covenant Christian School. We appreciate Mr. Martin's help in getting everything together. Um, the reason this classroom is important, and one of the fundamentals of that is small classroom size. This building provides us with four additional classrooms that help us meet that goal. Um, it's very important to us that we continue to have that ability to maintain the small classroom size. Uh, we take uh, our responsibilities very seriously about making sure it's an aesthetically pleasing building that's well maintained. Just this year, we've updated the paint job and redone the HVAC, and we would certainly appreciate your recommendation that we continue to be allowed to use this building uh, for two more years. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Absolutely. You got any questions for the applicant, Mr. By? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, this this is the fifth application for renewal. Um, where are you relative to building a permanent structure, raising the funds, having a plan? Or uh, are we going to be here again in two years looking at another reapplication? Where, where are you with uh, a permanent structure? We still have a little ways to go. We have drawn up an initial plan, kind of had an architectural rendering drawn and laying all that out. It is going to take more money than we have right now. Right now, our enrollment is about 160 to 170 students. Uh, we anticipate it taking at least a few more years to get all the money that we need to build the permanent building. But our goal is to progress towards that. Any other questions, Ms. Campa? Um, last time, two years ago, when you presented your um, renewal, you discussed a building fund that you had been putting together, and you also had talked about some architectural plans that you had pulled together for the, uh, for the permanent structure. Um, I, I, I didn't see anything in your in the letter that you uh, sent in requesting the renewal, addressing the fact that where you stand with your building fund and uh, what would be the timing of, of possibly starting construction on a permanent facility. Uh, right now we don't have a solid date for the timing. We still have those same architectural plans. During the last couple of years, our enrollment has decreased a little bit, which has slowed our timeline a little bit. And so we're right now focusing on maintaining the premises and rebuilding enrollment so that we can get to the point where we're back on track for that. 
So as far as uh, exact figures for when, I, I can't provide that information. I will tell you that we are working hard toward that goal. Uh, and we have been uh, retaining the services of a consultant to try and uh, advance uh, the building fund. Uh, right now we have significant reserves, but um, not enough and uh, to, to turn it into a building fund, so to speak. Uh, sorry, I can't provide more specific detail, but I'd be happy if you have a follow-up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, Max, thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the public hearing. At this time, we'd like to ask if there's anyone in attendance that would like to come forward and speak in favor of or opposition to this application. Okay, let the record show there's no public input. Any further comment or discussion on this matter? All right. In the absence of any further discussion, I'd like to ask for a motion. Zoning concerning zoning request Z18012, approved for the special land use permit for module classroom building. I would like a motion, a motion to approve the rezoning request for, for the 24 months. Okay, we got a motion to approve, Mr. Campo. Do we have a second? We have a second, Mr. Monroe. Uh, please vote. All right, your application's approved 7-0. Good luck with your fundraising and keeping enrollment up. All right. Um, the last item on our agenda is the approval of the minutes from the June 11th, 2018 Planning and Zoning Board meeting. Um, are there any amendments that need to be made, changes that need to be made to the minutes? Uh, in the absence of that, can we get a motion to approve the minutes as presented? We have a motion, Mr. Campo. To approve, Mr. Monroe, our hardest working board member tonight, is second on that. Please vote to approve the minutes. It's much appreciated, Mr. Monroe. The minutes are approved 7 0. Mr. Martin, Mr. Sudrath, any other items? Okay. Well, this meeting is adjourned at 6.13 in the p.m. I know. Got to be quick on it. Let us know how the oysters are. <laughs>